Well, today here on TechGooch, we're going to actually do something that I typically don't do specifically on this channel. Usually I do any of my assembly stuff or, or setup things on my GeekSmart channel. But this is going to be fairly simple because it's not anything too crazy to set up that I, that I could tell at least. But this is the, well, I think it's VeFi. This is a VeFi LED floor lamp. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is a video I've been meaning to get to, but life is crazy. Let's see here. All right, so we got everything in here. We got the book. We'll take all the pieces out and get the box out of the way. Let's see how it is. Now this light actually have five different color temperatures that it can produce from. It's uh, non-step based dimming. Um, it is a floor based lamp, so it should be fairly tall. Uh, there's that. We have a little screwdriver. They actually give you a little screwdriver. That's nice. Okay, let's put that up there. We got some holes. One there, one there. There's the base. Get that out of the bag. That's obviously going to be our probably our starting point. See how uh, how tall it is in the end. Get that out of the way. All right. So at the base, we'll set up these as we go. So first we got power adapter just a little power brick and this is running on 24 volts is what it's actually running on just so you're aware start my bags here okay so pull and then this guy has plenty of length itself if this is going to be as tall as I think it is or not. I don't know. It's hard to tell yet, to be honest about it. Alright, so we're going to leave that all crunched up for now. We'll get, we're going to actually use their screwdriver. I wonder how much this will have to do anyway. So, uh, it's apparent to me that this is going to be the top. So that's what I would assume that this is going to slide down into. All right? So... What I will do, and that's actually, yeah, there's the screw that we're gonna have to remove. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out right now, right here on the bottom of the light, because that actually screws in underneath here to lock it into place so you can't remove it. So, I'll take that out right now, get that ready. Okay, so we got that. First pole, which is just the threaded standard pole, that's gonna go on here. Okay, it's tight. Then on that threading, we're going to take this pole here. I know it's going to be off camera, I apologize, but that's what I'm doing on that. Alright, I'm going to go bring it down. Um, boom, alright. So right here, that's where this guy's going to go down into, is right here. And then, straight up here is where that screw we removed is going to go. Pretty obvious to be honest about it. Nothing too crazy in that regard. There we go. Doesn't look like you can really crank it too tight so it won't go off. But that's going to keep it from falling out off the, the base. So there we are. We are in. And now I can actually stand this thing up. Uh, Alright, let me get the camera backed up. So now I'm going to get this thing plugged in. So we have the power cable here. That guy's plugged in, now we just have the cable itself. It comes with what I would say is about six feet of power cable. And then on the actual lamp itself, that little pigtail that comes out back here, that's what we're gonna be connecting to. So I'm gonna plug that in. And now, so it's, <coughs> it's not for standing. It's definitely, and, and they even on their the website, remember the the look of it itself looks like it's more for reading on while sitting. Um, I would concur with that. And how much room do we have for moving around here? Of course, I can flip this around. Uh, there's the light there itself, and it's touch base control. Okay, so there's a. I will zoom in here in a second. If I can hold it, go through the different color modes, is that right? Yep, 
it'll go between different colors, really yellow. That goes from really yellow to really white, and then when it gets to the white, it stops. I bring it back off, I press it again, it goes back down to the really yellow. And I'll bring it back up. Step it to about there. <coughs> and so the the power button, if we long press the power button, we can adjust the brightness. From off, I push and, add off, I push and hold it, it goes all the way to the brightest. Okay, and then at the brightest, if I push and hold it, it'll go all the way down to off and, and cycle off. Pretty simple, to be honest about it. So you can adjust how bright it is. I like the 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 touch capability. Um, the only thing I would say is it'd be nice to be able to see the button from down below rather than it just being on the actual item itself. But I understand why they would do it like that. That makes sense to me. So yeah, let's bring it in. Let me show you what that what those buttons look like. So you can see that there's the power, and then there's what looks like just an infinite circle with the arrows. That's going to be your color, and then that's going to be your light off, light on, or if you push and hold them, that's when the dimming happens. And then same thing if it's on, let's bring it back up. Uh, this would be the color changing, so push and hold, we can actually change the color. You see on my hand here, the bounce off, how it goes from white to a yellow. Um, and that we can just vary with these two buttons. And we can just tap them. Let's see if we just tap the color button. So it goes between the different color modes just by clicking it rather than getting the variable in between. So that's kind of nice. I, I like that a lot. That's that's nice. And to be honest, it's not that hard to just, and it's responsive. I'll give it that. And it is it is definitely a soft on. It's not just on, off. It is kind of a whoop, oom. So that's nice. I do want to try it out. And they do give you little instructions here as you can see in the lettering. That's a sticker if we take that sticker off. Right. Yep, that sticker does come off. I'll stick it on the packaging. I do want to see what it's like actually at a seated location and see what that's like. I want to point something out real quick. So I'm going to point it out so you can kind of see the light, right? So if you want to make this lamp smart per se, right? Because this is a dumb lamp. I have to push physically touch to do it. But let's say I want to integrate it in my smart home experience, be able to turn it on, turn it off when I want to. It's not going to work for you. And I'll show you why. So... If I had this on a switch, it uh, comes over, power off, you know, it would literally remove power from this guy. And you can saw that it was on when I powered it off. And if I plug it back in, it's not going to turn on on its own. So um, I'm not saying that's a, a downside specifically, but it is something to bring up that if this does lose power and the power comes back on, it's not going to turn itself back on. Um, that's just something to note. Uh, it's kind of the opposite of like a Philips Hue bulb that it doesn't matter if it was on or off when you lo when it lost power It will automatically turn back on when it regains power no matter what it will automatically do that regain uh, function, so It's just one of those things, but that is something to note that I can't put this on a smart switch So let's see what this is like sitting down Okay, so let me start by saying that this is a lamp that we have on both sides of our couch currently and as you can see it's about the same height as the other guys. Just seemed that a lower basically because we have these two more that attach to attached to it, right? So I turn it on nice and bright. And if I go to that power button, I can dip it down a little bit. Uh, I can go by color. Change the color a little bit. Oh, a little more yellow if I wanted to. But the nice thing is, is that I can bring this over me further, right? And if I'm working on something, get it over what I'm working on, and really concentrate what I'm doing, um, I'm actually kind of impressed by it. And uh, because of its design, it stays level at all times, right? So no matter where I go with it. Pretty simple, pretty awesome. So that's the lamp. I apologize if I was a little quieter when I was upstairs, but I do have uh, some couple people that are taking naps. So, uh, but that said, it's actually when you're sitting in a couch setting, definitely is taller than what it feels like when I'm on this bar stool, right? Um, so it is about the right height. Um, 
the base is definitely uh, heavy enough for no matter how far out you reach with it. Uh, but I will say that moving it around, it can tend to lean a little bit when you're trying to adjust the height. Um, because like here, I can actually put my foot on the base. But when it's sitting next to your couch, you're not going to be able to do that. Um, but nothing more or less than any other lamp I've, I've done. Now, I always try to base my review and my thoughts based on how much I would pay for this. Um, so if I was this much out of pocket for it. <clears throat> right now, you can purchase this for $59. I will put links down in the description, so if you want to check it out, if nothing else. Um, the only downside to this lamp that I can really see um, is the fact that it, it, it doesn't have a memory, right? No matter what, it's going to turn off. If I power cycle it, it will be off. Um, and I like using smart switches. If nothing else, they're handy to have, so if even if I'm away from my house on vacation, I can have a, a light randomly turn on for a little while and then turn back off. You can't do that with this, just so you're aware. Um, I think a lot of people in this in this kind of reading situation, you're probably not going to do that. You're not probably not going to put it on a smart switch. So this is great because I'm going to read right here. I'm just going to you know click on the power button and use it. That's exactly what this is designed for. So just know going in that that is one of the limitations. Whether that means anything to you is all dependent on you and your home. I would say probably 90 plus percent of the time, it's not going to matter. But there are those of us that love smart things, and this I can't do that with. So that is something to say. Now that's not to say that there's maybe not a way to force that out of it. I don't think there is because it's probably built into the head of the lamp. So that said, um, Vefi, thank you for sending this over to me. Um, I actually do like the the lamp itself. I actually ha used to have a, uh, a desk lamp that was similar to this. Uh, on my desk for college and I used it for years afterwards and uh, it eventually died but it didn't have the dimmability and the color changing capability that this has uh, and so I can adjust that depending on my light surroundings and depending on what I'm doing certain color modes actually help you read better or help you know certain circumstances better um, so that is very very handy so thank you very much for sending this and uh it's actually not a bad product. For 59 bucks, not bad. I know how much we paid for the lamps that we have upstairs. And this is a lot cheaper. So, that said, guys, thank you for sticking to the end. I will put a link in the description to this specific lamp. If you have any questions, by all means, reach out. And I can, uh, obviously, I have it here. So I can always check to see if there's something that maybe I missed uh, and you had a question on. So if I do notice anything else, I'll let you know. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and please share this if you can on your social media. So, thanks for watching. We'll catch you back here on another future video review right here on Tech Gooch. See you soon. <laughs>